It's been a while since we started an episode like that, hasn't it? Hello, hello, guys, guys, this, this is his universal, universal giant, giant, and, and, welcome, welcome back, back to, to, let's, let's play, plays, Metroid, Metroid, Fusion, Fusion, blind, blind! Making up for lost time with that one. I don't care how annoying it was, I'm sorry. Well, if you hit... Oh, who am I kidding? Anything we do in this game is going to be a bad idea. You know what would be super helpful for a water environment? Several thousand, good god. Yes, my objective is clear, but if I'm going into a water environment, could you at least give me something that makes it easier to navigate water environments? Something purple, maybe? That'd be kind of helpful. I don't know if you're strong enough to threaten the universe, even at 100%, Samus. You're still just one woman. So let's try going to Sector 3. Because, why the hell not? The only thing that was stopping us before was the blue barrier, and it's gone. And it only makes sense to go Sector 3 next. I mean, we just did Sector 2. So it kind of only makes sense to go to Sector 3 next, let's be honest. Are you going to stop me? No thanks. I'd rather not. Save point. Recharge room. You know, you know, before I go in here, I saw the initials PYR. I'm guessing this is going to be a room that we cannot tolerate the temperature. You're actually letting me go? There's nothing in here. Actually, let, you're actually letting me do stuff. That's not something I was expecting, to be honest. Actually letting me walk around and do stuff in here. And go into the door and everything. Yep. Kinda had a feeling. Oh, well, let's see if there's anywhere else we can go while we're here. I'm guessing this is hot, too. Nope. Interesting. Okay, there's where we need the speed boost. Gotcha. Okay. That I know what is. Is there anything else we can actually do in here? Or are they just going to let me explore around until I die of overheating? It's interesting to explore places that the game doesn't want you to go to, but at the same time, they have it here for you because they have a feeling that there are going to be people like me that want to explore, so they let us know all of the places that we can't go or do anything in, as if to say, yeah, it's here if you really, 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 really want to see it for some stupid reason, but we're not going to let you do anything in there. And this whole thing is speed boostable. Wait, really? That whole thing is speed boostable. That's interesting. Okay. So they give you this whole area to explore. I'm assuming it's going to be filled to the brim with enemies later. But they just leave it here for you to look at and say, yeah, this is a place you'll be coming to later, but there's nothing you can do here yet. So go back to the other place. How do I jump? Because I have to hold the other direction. How quickly he forgets things. Seriously. So I guess that's all we can do. I'm not going to fool around with it anymore, and I'll recharge for that five energy I'm missing. So, so much for this area. But at least they let us explore it this time, unlike going to Sector 2 before Sector 1. Although, it's understandable that players would check out Sector 3, A, because it's open to you, and B, because it's the next one numerically. They didn't have to. Hell, they could have just moved Sector 4 over to Sector 3. 
swap the two because it makes more sense. But they still let you go there anyway. I don't imagine we'll be spending much time in Sector 4 to begin with. It'll just be do something here, get something here, and then immediately leave to go back to Sector 3. I don't expect to be here very long. Because why would they have numbered it this way if they really wanted you to spend that much time in Sector 4 before Sector 3? Just a hunch. It is very large. Ceres. I'm guessing that's holding our speed booster. My objective is clear. Thank you for authorizing me to kill it. Okay, don't touch the water. Gotcha! And I'm guessing since most of this place is probably going to be water, again, we're not going to be spending too much time in here. Just a hunch. I don't know if it's actually true, but that's what it sounds like. We don't need a recharge either. So let me get my bearings. I'm guessing we're just going to be skimming across the top of this place and then heading back out. Music. Interesting. Maybe I'll just try. Yeah, I'll just try skimming across the top. If there's anything interesting on my way back, I'll. Those guys in the background. Right now, I'm going to be more fall bombing everywhere, just to make sure there isn't anything anywhere. There's that electrocuted water. Speed booster. I can go this way, though. That's not a way I want to go. That's why I didn't stop there. So we still have the crabs again. But that... Okay, I see that one's flashing, which means he's going to respawn somewhere. I don't want to deal with him. I wasn't sure if I fired whether or not it would actually jump down. I forgot how it worked for a second. So can I... I can make that jump, I think. I can. Something is up there. It looks like a water leak. Thankfully, that's not electrocuted. I have a feeling that's a one way. Interesting. So I can make my way around? Does the game expect me to be able to wall jump at this point? I guess? Do you expect me to be able to do that? You do. Okay, anything in here I can do? Because I see the missiles there. Do you expect me to... You do. Okay. I'm learning things. I can't stand... I can't stand up. Interesting. No, there was a secret up there, too. Wait, where? Where could there have been a secret? How? What? Is it in here? Is it this? It is that. How about that? I'm finding secrets! Are you proud of me? I hope so. Because I'm proud of me. I don't know how many of these they expect you to find, but at least the ones here, they don't seem very intuitive to look for if you don't know where they are. So I'm kind of proud of myself. I mean, yeah, it was on the map, so I kind of had a feeling it was there, but I'm still proud of myself for being able to find them. I mean, how many people think to look this way to begin with? And a free save point. How about that? I'm still going to check every single goddamn save room, let's be honest. 
Why would I ever not... I forgot I had the spring ball. I'm going to call it the spring ball. No one's going to stop me. I really like the music in here, too. I mean, the other ones had fitting ambiance, but this one actually has a kind of rhythm to it. I like it. Can I reach you from here? I want to. There we go. Again, I don't know if there's anything underneath me. I kind of don't want to risk it. I also forget whether or not those things deal me knockback, which is why I was being so careful on the platforms before. But again, I'll be avoiding the water like the plague. Whether or not I have to is that is a... Okay. Do you like missiles? No. Interesting. So they powered up when they were infected with the axe. That's... And it gives you two... Oh, so it powered up with the missile thing. That's... I like how a lot of these things are reasonable. They're sensible. Like, the power-ups these guys are getting. I need to actually jump to shoot them. This is managing a lot of buttons that I'm not really used to doing. But yeah, it, it powering up with the missiles gives it strength to only take hits by missile. Uh, you get what I'm trying to say. I really like that idea. That the power-ups the enemies are getting are based on the X that they absorb. I really like that concept. It makes a lot of sense. I didn't shoot the ceiling. What if this is the one secret, the one save room that has a secret in the roof that I didn't check? I really like that concept, though. This whole... I don't know how comfortable I am with the whole virus thing, but it's really how it fits into the enemies or the boss fights that you have. I really like it conceptually. That was easy. That wasn't. I don't imagine I'm going to be able to bomb through that. So where was it directing me? It was directing me... There has to be something I can do in there. Because it's not letting me go anywhere else. There's got to be something I can do in here. Really? No secret path or anything I can go to? Nothing? That's interesting. I thought for sure it was going to give me an opportunity to do something there. Maybe we have to find another way in. And I know I didn't really explore this place. Anything in the walls. I, I knew I was going to be back here eventually, so I didn't spend too much time thinking that I would actually find something up there and then make my way back. But apparently that didn't happen. So I'm going to be exploring here now. There's got to be another way in there. Right? Or am I missing something? Is there another way we could go to get up there? That I'm not seeing? It doesn't look like it. The only other way I can think to go is down, and that save point leads back and around, but I don't think we're going to be able to do anything that way. It's got to be up there somewhere. I go to the left from here? I didn't go that way. I don't anticipate that leading to anything either, but I didn't go this way before. Worth a shot. Anything. Electrified water. Breakable blocks. That should open up that, but I can't go down that way yet. See, I considered going this way before, but it didn't look like it looped around. But 
this leads up to a section that we couldn't get to before, so maybe we got that going for us, I guess. I mean, where else do we have to go? Wait, what? Okay, for the record... I was just climbing up to see if I could jump over to the other side. Like, if I could do this. I didn't expect to go through the wall. Although I imagine that's how most people found this, so I don't feel too guilty about it. I really wish I could get all that health, though. It's still kind of floating around, which is good. But then I immediately lose it to this guy. Wow. I am really fragile. Health, please. Thank you. Now the question is how much... Oh, I, I keep forgetting I could jump. You know, I don't even think about it, because I went through the entire game of Super Metroid without it. So I don't even think to try using the Spring Ball. That's going to get aggravating, isn't it, guys? The fact that I have access to a Spring Ball that I never, ever freaking use. Although I'm sure it's going to be important at some point, so I can't go through the entire game without realizing I have it. But it looks like we're going to have an alternate way to get into the boss. So that's another thing I'm going to have to be on the lookout for. Alternate paths. Because the game isn't always going to lead you in the right direction. Is that, Are they going to put a path right above this block? I, I don't know. I'm clearly missing something, though. Maybe there's a removable block over up here that I'm just not seeing. Maybe? I don't know what the game's expecting me to try at this point. Do they want me to go around from the other direction? Or is this even a way we should be going at all? Because it looks like... Maybe we're supposed to go around, like, further around, but I don't know if we can get down that way. That's... that's strange, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how else they want me to go. I can't think of anything else to do here. Maybe this was all for that one secret. I'm stomped. I really am, because I feel like I was supposed to go the way I initially came in. I only came around this way to pick up a secret or two. Not actually get through that way. I don't know. I guess we continue forward to see what we find, but we can't go much further than this. Yes, we can. So is it going to be through here? I am so confused. Is this even where we're supposed to be going? I guess, that's a one-way door. Pump control unit? Are we going the right way? Need the speed boost. I am so confused right now. Like, I know I don't want to go that way. Why would you let me explore this far? There's nothing I can do. I'm completely stumped. Like, where am I supposed to go at this stage? I obviously don't want to go down. Can I go up? I can go up. This is... I gotta admit... 
going around all of these puzzle-like areas, although it is kind of confusing, I am enjoying it. Because it's giving me... It's making me think. A lot of the rest of the game has kind of just been go through this door now that you have this ability. Do this, do that. But they've really stepped up just navigating around is a challenge. That you have to figure out how to go, where to go, when the game doesn't necessarily tell you exactly how to get there. I appreciate that. And I see on the map that I can get out this way. So it looks like we found our way to the boss. So next time... Ceres. This is Universal Giant. See you then.